Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered what makes stars so massive? The answer lies in the enigmatic world of astrophysics, where the concepts of stellar mass and its importance come into play. Stellar mass, in essence, is the total amount of matter contained within a star. This matter, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, is not just idly sitting there, it's constantly undergoing a process called nuclear fusion. This is where the story of stellar mass becomes truly fascinating. Nuclear fusion is the heart of a star. It's the process that powers these celestial bodies, causing them to shine so brightly in the night sky. It's a process where the intense pressure and heat within a star's core force hydrogen atoms to come together, forming helium. This reaction releases an enormous amount of energy, and it's this energy that gives a star its luminosity. But what does this have to do with the mass of a star? Well, the answer lies in the delicate balance between two opposing forces. On one hand, there's the inward pull of gravity, trying to squeeze the star into the smallest, densest state possible. This is known as gravitational contraction. On the other hand, there's the outward push of the energy created by nuclear fusion, striving to expand the star. This equilibrium between the two forces is known as hydrostatic equilibrium. The mass of a star determines how these forces interact. A larger mass means stronger gravity, leading to higher pressure and temperature in the star's core. This, in turn, speeds up the rate of nuclear fusion, causing the star to shine more brightly and live a shorter life. So the mass of a star is not just a number, but a complex interplay of nuclear processes and gravitational forces. It's a ballet of celestial physics, where every element has a role to play and every movement matters. This dance is what shapes the life, size and fate of every star in the universe. You might be surprised to learn that stars are not all the same size. The cosmos is a grand stage where stars of all sizes perform an intricate ballet, from the diminutive yet fiery red dwarfs to the gargantuan and radiant supergiants. Each star's size is a crucial determinant of its stellar radii, luminosity and spectral classification, making the cosmos a spectacularly varied theatre of stellar performances. Let's begin with the smallest members of the stellar family, the red dwarfs. These are stars with a fraction of the sun's mass and can be as small as one-tenth of its size. Their diminutive size doesn't mean they're not important. They make up a staggering three-quarters of the stars in our galaxy. An example of a red dwarf is Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor. Next up are stars similar to our sun, often referred to as yellow dwarfs. These stars have a mass and size comparable to the sun. They are the middle children of the stellar family, neither too big nor too small yet they play a pivotal role in the life-sustaining processes of countless planets, including our very own Earth. Moving up the size scale, we encounter the red giants. These are stars that have exhausted the hydrogen in their cores and expanded to sizes up to a hundred times that of the Sun. A well-known red giant is Betelgeuse in the constellation Orion. And finally, we reach the supergiants. These are among the largest stars in the universe, with sizes up to a thousand times that of the Sun. Supergiants are rare, but their immense size and luminosity make them some of the most noticeable stars in the night sky. An example is Antares, a red supergiant in the constellation Scorpio. From tiny red dwarfs to colossal supergiants, the universe is filled with a dazzling array of stellar sizes. These stars, each with their unique characteristics, paint a vibrant picture of the cosmos, a testament to the vast and diverse universe we inhabit. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember, every star tells a story, and each one is as unique as a fingerprint. So what are the biggest stars we know of, you might be pondering? Well, let's voyage into the cosmos to meet these celestial giants. First off, we have UI Scuti a red supergiant star located in the Scutum constellation. It's believed to be the largest star known to us, with a radius around 1,700 times that of our Sun. Yes, you heard it correctly, 1,700 solar radii. If you replaced our Sun with UI Scuti, it would engulf the orbits of planets up to Jupiter. Imagine that. Then comes Vui Canis Majoris, another red supergiant, residing in the constellation Canis Major. It's not as large as UI Scuti, but still dwarfs our Sun with a radius over 1300 times greater. This star is so massive that it's constantly losing its outer layers due to powerful stellar winds, a process that has significantly reduced its size over the past millennia. Now, you might be wondering, what makes these stars so massive? 
It all comes down to their absolute magnitude, a measure of the intrinsic brightness of a star. Both UI Scuti and Vicanis Majoris have absolute magnitudes that are simply off the charts, meaning they are extraordinarily bright and massive. However, the size of a star isn't static. It changes as the star goes through different stages of stellar evolution. For instance, stars like our Sun become red giants towards the end of their life cycles, swelling to hundreds of times their original size. But they are still nowhere near as large as UI Scuti or VI Canis Majoris, which are supergiants, the largest class of stars. The fascinating thing is, these stars were not always this large. They started their lives as average-sized stars, but their immense gravity attracted more and more material, making them grow larger and larger. It's a process that continues until they've exhausted their nuclear fuel. These celestial giants truly put our own sun into perspective, don't they? Our sun, a mere speck compared to these behemoths, serves as a reminder of the vastness and diversity of the universe we inhabit. But what happens as these massive stars continue to evolve? As their fuel supply dwindles, these stellar titans undergo a fascinating and intricate process of transformation. Their future hinges on a delicate balance between gravity and pressure, a cosmic dance choreographed by the forces of nature. Once the star exhausts its nuclear fuel, gravity takes the upper hand, causing the core to contract under its relentless pull. This contraction increases the temperature and pressure at the star's heart, setting the stage for a new round of nuclear fusion. For a time, this process keeps the star stable, but eventually the fuel runs out once again. At this stage, the star's fate is determined by its mass. For stars with a mass less than the Chandrasekhar limit, around one and a half times the mass of our Sun, the core's contraction is halted by a quantum mechanical effect known as electron degeneracy pressure. These stars end their lives as white dwarfs, slowly cooling and fading away over billions of years. But for the behemoths, stars with a mass greater than the Chandrasekhar limit, the future is far more dramatic. The core's contraction continues unabated, leading to a supernova explosion, a cataclysmic event that outshines entire galaxies. This process, known as supernova nucleosynthesis, is responsible for creating many of the heavier elements in the universe, including gold, silver and uranium. What remains of the star after the supernova depends on its mass. The core may collapse into a neutron star, an incredibly dense object composed almost entirely of neutrons. Alternatively, if the core's mass is great enough, it may continue collapsing to form a black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from its event horizon. In the grand cosmic drama, even the most massive stars must eventually face their final act. So, what have we learned about the mass and size of stars? We've delved into the mystery of stellar mass, understanding that it's a delicate interplay of nuclear fusion and gravitational forces. We've explored the spectrum of stellar sizes, from dwarfs barely larger than Jupiter to behemoths that could swallow our solar system whole. We've marveled at the giants among us, like UI Scuti and VI Canis Majoris, stars so massive that they boggle the mind and stretch the imagination. We've also peered into the future of stellar evolution. We've witnessed the life cycle of stars from their fiery birth in nebulae to their eventual death either as a quietly fading white dwarf or a spectacular supernova. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember each star is a cosmic tale of nuclear fusion, gravitational forces and the relentless